I'm now back home from COP, but I have been thinking a lot about the conversations I had while I was there. One of the conversations that stood out most was from Alan, who works for the Wellcome Trust. So we're here at COP to make the case for urgent action on climate change, putting health evidence right on the stage. And people might traditionally think climate change and the physical environment, ice caps, forests. How does climate change play into health and health impacts? More than half a million people now are dying every year of extreme heat. Last year was the largest ever number of cases of dengue on the planet, and that's all driven by climate change. Then of course, food systems, you know, it's much harder to grow food in these hot, dry conditions, and that's having an impact on health. And I guess that is the stark reality of climate change and health, but what are some of the opportunities? There are so many opportunities, because we have many of the solutions already. Cutting greenhouse gas emissions, and the pollutants like black carbon, ozone, methane, if we get them out of the air, then, then health improves. But then there are also solutions like early warning systems for extreme heat, early warning systems for uh, infectious disease outbreaks, but also very simple things like planting trees for shade or painting the roofs of houses white so that they reflect the heat. And I think that speaks to how important these COP conferences are, actually bringing people together and offering up these opportunities. Well, Alan, thank you for sharing about the Wellcome Trust and make sure you do check out the work, the research that they're doing and more information about climate and health. Thank you. Thank you.